Are you looking for the best small gaming motherboards? In this video we will look at some of the best small gaming motherboards. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Asus ROG Strix Z790 You'd like to build a small form factor PC, but you want that big performance? No sweat, the Asus ROG Strix Z790i Gaming Wi-Fi brings you exactly that. Make no mistake, at $469 MSRP, this is an enthusiast-focused premium offering. What do you get in exchange? From the moment you open the tiny box, you'll appreciate the included accessories and premium feel of the experience. You'll get your usual fare of SATA cables and stickers, but there's more. You'll also get a neat external sound device, called the ROG Hive, which acts as a little hub. This is great for small builds that can't fit sound cards or more expansion internally. The FPS2 card also gives you more SATA ports and headers when connected to the motherboard, a clever way of keeping the important components unaffected while adding more utility in a small package. The accessories are fun, but you'll be really impressed with the performance. Robust VRMs with 10 plus 1 power stages should easily handle even the mighty Intel i913900K. Keep in mind that you'll need some heavy-duty CPU cooling for the i9 CPUs, which may be a challenge in a small form factor build. You'll likely want to pair this with a slightly less power-hungry Intel CPU, such as the i713700K, if only to save space on cooling. Number 2. Asus ROG Strix B760i Gaming Wi-Fi. If you're after a small form factor build and want a good balance of features for the price, the Asus ROG Strix B760i Gaming Wi-Fi is a worthy choice. Coming in at $219, it is significantly cheaper than its Z790 counterpart, but with some notable drawbacks. While both boards are mini-ITX, this motherboard is wrapped in the B760 Intel chipset instead of Z790. That means a lack of real overclocking support would avoid most of the K Intel SKUs such as the 13900K. You're likely to use something like an Intel i5-13600, which will have less power draw and heat. Both are advantageous in a small form factor build. The 760 also gives you less VRM cooling in general, to go in line with the more efficient CPUs. You're also more limited with theoretical PCIe lanes, SATA ports, and USB ports. This isn't as much of a factor since Mini ITX already sets a cap of many of these items due to size. If some of those drawbacks are acceptable to you, there are many positive features to find here. While the included accessories don't include novelties such as the ROG Hive, they also add to the cost. You're still getting all of what you need here, like a Wi Fi antenna, SATA cables, etc., and nothing that you don't. Number 3 MSI Mag B760M Mortar Wi Fi if you want to save some more cash while going micro ATX and still pack a punch, the MSI Mag B760M Mortar Wi-Fi is just the ticket. With an MSRP of $199, it will have some trade-offs, the same B760 chipset limits noted above, such as lack of overclocking, and less VRM grunt as well. You do get 12 plus 1 plus 1 duet rail VRMs, so you'll be ready for almost any Intel CPU. We recommend avoiding the overclockable KSKUs here to save some coin, you'll do great with even the standard i913900. With its lower wattage, it can be a boon for small form factor builds that may lack proper CPU cooling. The increasingly mainstream DDR5 RAM is also supported, with faster and cheaper kits available as time goes on. You no longer have to hold on to DDR4 motherboards to save some cash, DDR5 is the trend going forward. You'll also get 4 DIMM slots with a 128GB limit better than Mini ITX, which offers 2 slots and 64GB. A good reason why those who run heavier RAM workloads should consider Micro ATX for a workstation-style build. PCIe Gen 5 is mostly a marketing spec, with less real-world viability at this point in time. You'll have the GPU 16x lane as PCIe Gen 5, but everything else is PCIe Gen 4. This includes the two onboard M.2 slots, which are more than adequate for most users. Number 4. Asus ROG X670E Gene. Have you ever wanted to buy a big, beefy motherboard, like from the Asus Extreme lineup, but they were far too big? Fret no more, 
the Asus ROG X670E gene brings a lot of that over-the-top goodness to a smaller micro ATX form factor. It's also priced for the premium market at $599, it's one of the most expensive small form factor motherboards we've encountered. If you get over the sticker shock, you'll be impressed with every facet of this motherboard. Performance is on par with any other high-end offering, with a 16 plus 2 phase design for the VRMs. Indeed, the Ryzen 9 7950X or any of the X3D CPUs have met their match in this overachiever. Performance perks continue with support for the fastest DDR5 RAM kits that AM5 offers. Not as fast as Intel, but blazing speeds regardless. One thing to keep in mind is that you'll be limited to two DIMM slots, instead of the usual four on micro ATX motherboards. Technically, if you're overclocking RAM or pushing the limits, it's better to have fewer DIMM slots for maximum performance. That's exactly what type of user will enjoy this motherboard the most. You'll be able to keep everything cool with 7 PWM fan headers, too. Number 5. Oshrock B650E PGITX. If premium AM5 offerings are too spendy for you, we don't blame you. With higher than ever platform costs, it's important to save some cash when you can while getting top notch performance. That's where the Oshrock B650E PGITX comes in. With an MSRP of $289, it's by no means cheap, but you get a well rounded performer. The board is wrapped in the B650E chipset, the E gives us some PCIe Gen 5 lanes that the standard B650 won't have. This means that one of the two onboard NVMe slots can be Gen 5, a great option for those who like to be on the bleeding edge. You'll also have the PCIe 16X slot at Gen 5, even though GPUs currently can't saturate that. PCIe Gen 5 means you get to take advantage of everything AM5 has to offer, and it gets better. The beefy 10 plus 2 plus 1 phase design VRMs have a whopping 10 layer PCB, more than normal. Translation This little motherboard will handle any Ryzen CPU you throw at it even the mighty Ryzen 9 7950X. We're sure many gamers will want to pair this with the new 7800X 3D, a fine choice for maximum gaming performance. You'll just want to make sure your CPU cooler is up to task, as this chips can get spicy hot. Thankfully, the clever design of this motherboard leaves some nice room for most CPU coolers to fit.